Okay. First of all is the dollar index. Uh, so basically what I said that if, uh, you know, um, this was the area 104.4. That was the area we would look for the price. And uh, as you can see, this the dollar index went to 104.4 area. And it came down, first swing down, correction, another swing down, which was pretty impulsive to me. All right. You need a very impulsive move. Now, this impulsive move, what it did was that it broke the swing low. Okay. So these were the swings. All right. This was the swing. So it took off the swing low. So that is a really good thing. That's something that I like as well. <clears throat> now, after taking off swing lows, it creates price gaps, right? So uh, they have, we had this price gap here. We had this price gap here as well, right? So <clears throat> what you do, uh, like I mentioned before, is the 50% of the first gap. This is where you should look at. So as you can see, price came back, filled that 50% of that gap, and then from there, it came down all the way. So if you're taken over here, probably, uh, you know, um, one, almost uh, two to one, uh, uh, <clears throat> not an issue, okay, from there. For the Euro dollar, uh, what's a bit different, it had that uh, same thing, up, down, and then a push up. So they had a couple of uh, uh, gaps earlier, the top one and the lower one. So uh, based on this entry would have been here or the the lower point over here at the time. So if you have taken over here, you, the most you would have was a one-to-one -one return before price came down again. If you have already... Uh, broke even the the trades then then it would have taken you out already. Right? So that was the one that we were monitoring. And yeah, that uh, did not go the way that we wanted. And next thing you know, you know, after going up, it came down, going up again, then it dropped. But basically uh this was the highest point that it tried. You know, it went and tried and then tried again and then failed. Okay, but anyway, the one to one is still okay, and that's where usually I would uh, start to protect my trades. Now, um, the dollar index as well, the euro dollar, they weren't really very very nice returns, but there was one really really good return uh last week, and I'm going to come to that in a very short while. So next one is the Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar, we had this up down and then you see it's just going pushing up pushing up and then and we had this one and continue pushing up right over here before that retracement now this was the gap created one here and the low one right over here okay so price came back to fill this gap so this would have been your entry over here after breaking this swing and this one would have easily given you a two to one return Okay, so you have your two to one return here, even though the uh dollar index and the euro did not give you your two to one return. So you have one here. But the really, really cool one was gold. Okay. We were looking at the 2365 and 2380 area to look for the sales, right? So what happened was that you know, look at this swing here. It's one, two, one, two, one. Okay. So what happened was that he had one down, went up, and then these continuous candles coming down right over here. So it took out this low here in a rare in a impulsive way. And not only that, it left a gap in between right over here. So this would have been your entry, right? And this had with your 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 risk this entire movement would be a risk so look at this one this is not just two to one this is like uh uh how many i kind of forgotten already because i have to admit i, I wasn't around to catch this i was still overseas but you know 
that's how it is. So you had one, two, three, four, five to one. So this is quite a nice return. So uh, like this week, if it goes up, all right, here, right, and it comes down again, we can actually start continue building these shots over here. And who knows if it's like a hundred, uh, 100 US dollar drop in gold, <clears throat> this could actually give you uh, another, another uh, probably another, um uh, three extra to complete this whole trade for anywhere from uh eight eight to ten to one ten to one risk okay so these were the trades that uh triggered the last week um yeah hopefully i think i didn't catch them i have to be honest because i was traveling so hopefully you caught them and uh, you would have really enjoyed having a nice uh profit for this week okay so